What's up, y'all? How you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the JB and I show. I'm your host, Isaac Middleton. The JB and I show is also a podcast as well as a YouTube video. Hello to all my podcast listeners out there. What's up, y'all? <laughs> And hello to all my YouTube viewers out there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. We are growing slowly but surely. <laughs> We're like the tortoise. And it seems like everybody else is the hare. <laughs> but it's all good. Today we're going to be talking about motivation again. Well, we're going to be talking about motivation and then we're going to get into motivation in movies and such like that. And I'm going to tell a little bit about my background. Should be a lot of fun. But before we get there, I just want to take some time to say everyone who's celebrating a birthday today, this month, this week, in May. Can you believe it's May already? Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> Hopefully have a wonderful and blessed day. Enjoying your birthday or have enjoyed your birthday if it's already passed. And I hope that you will enjoy it if it's coming up. Or if you're just one of those people like myself who love to celebrate it all month. <laughs> yes. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Alright y'all. So, uh, after this little intro, we're going to get started, yo. Let's get this bar rolling. <laughs> I forgot to do that. So, okay, um... Staying motivated is not always an easy thing to do, especially when you're trying to do something over a long term, something that doesn't have a quick turnaround. Um, example, trying to achieve your college degree that takes years to get completed, you know, or trying to get your certification that takes years or even months to get completed, you know, um, such like that those types of goals even in fitness trying to either gain weight lose weight chisel up tone up all of that takes time it's not going to happen overnight okay and i want to give you a bit of encouragement you know and and part of that i want to tell you a little bit about me and in youtube and such like that you know um i started a while ago doing the jb and i show once a month <laughs> And it was a uh, tasking to get to do, you know, because um, there were moments where I just, it's not that I didn't enjoy doing it. I just didn't want to. It just didn't feel like it. I mean, you know, that's the truth. Uh, but once I start in the motions of doing it, yes, I was all for it. It's just getting out of that laziness, fighting that laziness to move forward, you know, to do it just once a month, you know, because I was also in school and working. So I had technically three jobs because YouTube was a job for me you know even though I enjoyed doing it <laughs> and so um, as we move forward in time I decided I wanted to do it uh, once a week and I wasn't sure if I would be able to accomplish this so what I decided to do was to start my research early and in the topic that I was going to talk, talk about or whatever like that and then going to the uh, detail of that topic and then you know pose questions and everything like that um, this worked for me and I found my groove you know and then the pandemic hit and I had more time on my hands so I was able to do more and and involve myself more and everything like that and that was a joy for me it is a joy for me to do you know um, one of the things I, I figured out about myself is I'm a planner. I like planning things out. I like going through the motions. And it doesn't matter if I have to fluctuate from that plan. I need that basis there to properly function. That's what I need for myself. And I figured that out through this last year. And 
sometimes it can be discouraging uh, doing uh, YouTube when you have friends that are literally doing great <laughs> and you're sputtering along. That's why I use the analogy of the tortoise and the hare, not saying that they're going to sputter out or anything like that. I'm saying for my aspect, it seemed like everybody's passing me by is what I'm getting at. And so you, you might, you yourself might be in a, a similar situation when it seems like everybody's passing by you, even though you're giving it 100% all you got and you still not able to get there faster or improve faster, you know. I want to encourage you to keep on going and to keep on keeping on because you will get there. You know, I use the other analogy that even the space shuttle gets there and it's going one miles per hour. As a matter of fact, it, it really shouldn't go any faster than that because that will be a danger to the rocket and, uh, and the damage of equipment, you know, and so it treks along at one miles per hour. You know, if you compare the space shuttle to a car, the car will literally be able to drive circles <laughs> around the space shuttle transport, you know. And but that's because it wasn't designed for that. It was designed to carry the space shuttle from one point A to point B. And and so even though it may not seem like you're getting there fast, you are going to get there. You just have to continue to maintain and stay focused. And I know that's easier said than done because the the um, uh, was the energy, the adrenaline of saying that thing will run out, and all you have left is that that determination, that discipline to lean on, and the fear that that discipline might not be enough to lean on. You know, I've been there. You know, sometimes I'll be like, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there now. <laughs> so I say that to say that, you know, just keep on going, continue to study, to research, to focus, to move forward, to, to, to drive forward and to dig in because you can do it. Don't give up. You know, um, if you're going to be given up, let it be a legit reason, you know, something legit. You know, you change your mind, you don't want to do it no more, you want to do something else, that's fine, whatever. But don't give up because you think everybody else is going faster than you. That's not a legit reason. If as long as you're moving forward and you're giving 100%, as long as you're doing that, you will achieve your goal. And you can use music, movies, cartoons, anime, people for inspiration, for motivation. To, for encouragement to help you keep on keeping on you know and if you have a religious background you can even talk to your religious provider whether it be a priest a nun a priestess you know uh, to give you that encouragement that you need to keep on keeping on to keep on going to keep moving forward you know you just need that confidence within yourself and the only way you can get that confidence is to build it and, and you may not be able to jump from A to Z, but you might can go from A to B, you know, small steps, baby steps. You might can do that and then take bigger steps over time. That's what you might have to do to build your confidence to get to where you need to be. Now, if you have the confidence to be like, yeah, I can do A to B, A to Z, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> But then God bless you and do it. Yes, absolutely. You know, I'm full, all for that. All for it. All for it. Absolutely. And so that's what I wanted to talk to you today about, you know, just giving you some encouragement, you know, and, and just want you to, you know, keep your head up and keep striving for it. Continue to do your research. Continue to do your due diligence, you know, continue to do your discernment. And, and determination, you know, because you can do it. Now, I have this thing, this product that just came out. It's a t-shirt that called that, you know, it says level up. And, and under it is like determination, you know, consistency, you know, focus. All of this will help you level up, you know. And you might not be able to level up right away. It might take some time. And I, I compare it to a video game. 
when you play in a video game you might not be able to level up right away but as you get these different things done you will be able to level up you just gotta get there okay alright y'all <laughs> So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. Comment below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Even compliments. I take compliments. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. And uh, until next time.